Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our channel here at Watchbox Reviews on YouTube. I'd really appreciate it and I'd be able to send videos like this to your inbox as soon as tomorrow morning. If you like this watch, you can purchase it on our website. Buy, trade and sell luxury watches 24 hours a day and globally on the watchbox.com. And today we are discussing a birthday present. One hell of a birthday present. If the Stearns are going to make a birthday gift for you, you better have a hell of a lot of pull. And German jeweler and watch retailer Vempe certainly does. Vempe celebrated its 125th anniversary in 2003, and Patek Philippe made this reference 5125R, limited edition of 125 pieces, for its flagship German dealer. Now, the timepiece was part of a four watch series that included all three medals in gold, 125 pieces a piece, and platinum, 100 pieces total. So four watches and a total of 475 pieces, meaning that these have become quite collectible in time. 37 millimeters across the round of the case means they're also quite versatile in size. You can wear this watch on a wrist as small as, in my experience, 13 centimeters in circumference and it'll look great. Across the wrist, it's compact lug to lug at only 46.5 millimeters, and though it is rather squat and pot-bellied, it's 11 millimeters thick with a generously rounded domed bezel profile that perfectly matches the flare and the flow of the case shape, so it almost looks like a monoblock and it easily slides underneath a dress cuff. The strap is a light brown, Small rectangular scale alligator leather with a monotone stitch and a folded edge. It features a matching Patek Philippe Calatrava cross style, single folds deployant, as you can see, matching and beautifully finished inside and out. This is a measure of security against droppage while donning or removing at bedside. You'll note it is a Patek Philippe factory strap and it is calfskin on the underside, even as it is alligator for durability and an upscale sheen on the top. This is one of the crown guard Patek Philippe designs, and you can see it features a gorgeous set of tapered guards, a screw down crown, and a wonderfully fluid and shapely profile. There's nary a straight line on this watch. You're basically gonna be limited to the flat plane of the case back, the junction of the case band and the bezel, and the straight flow of the lugs from their centers. Those are the only straight lines on this case, which is otherwise so fluid and sensuous and sexy. It has the gravitas to wear on a large wrist, even as it has the dimensions to wear on a smaller one. We can get a little bit closer, give ourselves some more light, and enjoy some of the details of this watch. As you can see, it uses pusher adjusters on its flanks to adjust the annual calendar movement. So this is an annual calendar, a complication invented by Patek Philippe in 1996, and it employs a mechanism that requires resetting only once per year during the jump from February to March. I will mention that appropriate to a Vempe limited edition, the watch does feature a German calendar. So if you're not German, you can learn a little bit of Deutsche as you tell the time on your watch. And remember, Vempe has pull, which is why this is a signed dial. Again, try to get the Stearns to give you a customized birthday present. You're going to be waiting for a while, and not just one cycle of the annual calendar either. The dial is nicely laid out, beautifully symmetrical and discreet in its detailing. I want to emphasize that from an arm's length, you don't see. Even if, even if I were to put the watch in focus, once the watch is more than 20 centimeters from your face, you can't actually see the Vempe branding. So if it bothers you that it's there, rest assured, you're going to be the only one who knows it's there as it doesn't show to the Gen Pop looking at your watch. The timepiece has a slightly cream colored dial. It's an opaline silver, but with a distinctly off white mixed into it. So it's not quite as cold and frigid as a silver metallic would normally be. Applied diamond polished and faceted hour markers, the indices feature a circle of golden dimple style indices, intermediate for reading the seconds as well as the minutes, and there's a narrow and faceted set of apertures for the day as well as the month, and then a golden frame that substitutes for the six o'clock index showing the date. There is a bosom style moon phase and a 122 year moon phase, meaning that is the adjustment interval. You will need to adjust that moon phase with its beautiful navy blue disc and golden stars once every 122 years. Case backs. Ah, the birthday present continues. As you can see, individually numbered 125 years of Vempe. 
Patek Philippe, a salute to its favorite dealer in the fatherland, but it's not the only case back you are going to get with this watch, as it features both solid gold and a sapphire display. Patek reasonably proposing that you should get both. You should get the sapphire to see the movement for which you've paid, but you also shouldn't be shorted over an ounce of gold because Patek chose to use a 30 Swiss franc sapphire, so you get them both. It's also why this watch, with its full deployment clasp and solid case back, weighs significantly more in the hand than you'd initially suspect. Underneath that case back, Patek Philippe Caliber 315. It's a 315, are you ready for this? S for center seconds, LU for moon phase, and QA for Cantiem Annuel, the annual calendar. A significant work of complication on an ultra-thin Geneva Hallmark base. It's a complex movement that is everyday reliable thanks to a precise and fairly rugged free-sprung Gyromax balance system. The 315, unlike the 324, beats weight 21,600 vibrations per hour, not 4 hertz or 28.8, so it's got a slightly statelier cadence to its beat when you hold it against the ear or you watch the jump of its seconds hand it is 3 hertz rather than 4 hertz. And of course, if you wish to adjust the annual calendar, you can use the push adjusters on the flank. The watch does not feature hacking seconds. That's just about the only technical refinement that it does lack. 35 joules, 35 to 45 hour power reserve. And of course, if you wish to see it, you can. If you wish to simply enjoy the premium pull of the extra gold, you can have your Patek Philippe watchmaker fit that case back accordingly. Again, they made four of these watches, 125 in rose gold. I've seen all examples, I've handled all examples. This is by far the warmest and the most endearing, which may also make it the most versatile on the wrist. See it and make it yours on the watch box.